The question of what existed prior to the massive explosion has captivated thinkers and sparked lively debate in the fields of science and great mysteries for a long time. This enormous question tests more than just our ability to decipher the universe. It challenges the true outermost limits of human knowledge. Imagine being at the very edge of existence and contemplating what existed there before our universe was imagined by peering into the enormous shadow. The Big Bang was the event that started everything we know about time, space, and reality itself. But what was that instant before? Before the cosmic gathering began, could there have been a calm state of nothingness? And if that's the case, was it truly nothing? Or was there perhaps something far more terrifying that existed before time itself? Science takes us on a journey beyond the point where the universe began and into ideas that challenge our very consciousness. Brian Cox, a physicist well-known for his research into the wonders of the universe, suggests that something unexpected might have existed prior to the massive explosion. He inspires us to reevaluate our conceptions of existence and reality. In this investigation, we'll break down the science, the speculation, and the amazing insider secrets to try to figure out what happened before it all began. Dark energy, self-important development, quantum changes, and even multiverses are some of the ideas we'll explore. You may be paralyzed by the answers we've provided, but they may also open new perspectives on our place in the universe. Prepare to plunge headfirst into a realm far beyond science and imagination, where the esoteric still weaves its way around the shadows, bewildering and sometimes even upsetting scientists. We ought to investigate what existed prior to the Big Bang and why these theories challenge everything we believe to be true. Before we can appreciate what might have been before the Big Bang, we need to carefully examine what the Big Bang actually was. According to how scientists define the term, the Big Bang is the moment when the universe became extremely hot and dense, expanding rapidly and triggering the formation of all matter, energy, and fundamental forces. Galaxies expanding in various directions from an early point provide evidence of this rapid beginning when we look toward the night sky. But why exactly did this occur? And was there a period before this intensely hot start? The theory of inflation suggests that there was a time before, one that was definitely not peaceful or even close to it. The vast expansion model proposes that the universe was cold, empty, and loose before the Big Bang, essentially resembling a vast vacuum. However, this void was not entirely empty. It contained a tremendous amount of energy, which was responsible for the rapid expansion of space itself. This expansion, known as inflation, happened so quickly that it essentially laid the groundwork for everything else that would follow, a portion of space expanding at unimaginable rates until the energy became matter, particles, and the forces, we recognize as emerging from the Big Bang. But what was the nature of this energy? What caused the universe to suddenly expand? And why did it stop? Experts believe that this immense expansion created distinct regions of the universe, each with its own separate Big Bang. Imagine a fabric that stretches on forever with tiny air pockets all over it. Each air pocket is a universe, including ours. This theory, known as the inflationary multiverse, suggests there could be an infinite number of universes and Big Bangs. Our universe is just one among many. This enormous and perplexing reality challenges our comprehension of the universe as a whole and prompts the question, what else is out there? The concept of nothingness prior to the Big Bang is speculative and unproven. According to our current understanding, the universe would still not be truly empty even if all energy, particles, and radiation were removed. Dark energy Quantum fields, dark matter, and other forces fill our universe, forming an unavoidable web of interconnectedness. Even in its most stripped-down form, the universe would continue to produce new types of energy, resulting in a dynamic, yet empty, space. 
This alone perplexes specialists, because it suggests that true nothingness may be beyond our comprehension. Space itself has rules, constants, and properties that prevent it from being completely empty. Imagine creating a space with absolutely nothing, no particles, no radiation, no energy, except for quantum fields and fundamental constants. Even these would continue to exist, implying that nothingness possesses characteristics. For instance, quantum fields exhibit a peculiarity known as zero-point energy, the lowest possible energy state. Particles can still appear and disappear briefly in this state, creating an unsettling hum of movement even in what should be empty space. This challenges our notion of a real void and suggests that there was indeed something prior to the Big Bang, something scientists are only beginning to understand. One of the most astonishing cosmological theories under consideration is the possibility of eternal inflation. If inflation is ongoing, our universe might continue to exist forever. In the inflationary multiverse described by Brian Cox, infinite universes are created and continue to grow. Think of each Big Bang as a flash that lights up a new universe and inflation keeps occurring in different regions, forming countless new universes. In theory, this cycle could continue forever, a fractal universe where each new universe may have its own Big Bang. Because of the rapid expansion of space, each universe exists as its own independent domain, unaffected by the others. This hypothesis is both exciting and unsettling, as it implies a multiverse with no true beginning or end. Imagine our universe as just a tiny part of a massive cosmic structure that never stops expanding, continuously creating new universes. And what if the disturbing truth is that there is no beginning or end? but rather a timeless pattern of universes forming and fading away. When we consider quantum field theory, our interpretation of nothingness also changes. According to this, theory, the universe is more than just stuff floating in space. Instead, it is made up of a complex web of energy fields that interact to create everything we observe. Particles in these fields behave like waves or disturbances, Invisible, sees, even in a vacuum state, where fields are at their lowest energy level, particles can briefly appear and vanish, borrowing and returning energy. These virtual particles, fleeting yet real in their impact, challenge the idea of a true void. Imagine a universe devoid of energy, radiation, and matter. Would it be truly empty? According to quantum field theory, it wouldn't be. Fields would remain active occasionally producing brief particles. This implies that the universe does not understand our concept of emptiness. There is always hidden energy preventing absolute nothingness, as long as these fields and forces persist. This leads to a profound question. Could the universe itself have emerged from this nothingness filled with quantum fields? Since fields create particles and particles create matter, is it possible that all of reality came from a fluctuation in an empty quantum field? Today, the universe's accelerating expansion is driven by a mysterious force known as dark energy. But was there dark energy before the Big Bang? Some theories suggest that the dark energy we see today is a remnant of a pre-existing energy field that shaped the early universe. In fact, dark energy may have existed in a much stronger state before the formation of our universe. It may have driven the inflationary phase, causing the rapid expansion that preceded the Big Bang. This idea raises a troubling possibility. If dark energy existed before the Big Bang, could it have shaped the very conditions that gave birth to our universe? Could it be the unseen architect of inflation? or even the true origin of our universe? As we investigate this idea, dark energy emerges as not just a player in the universe's current expansion, but as a potential key to unlocking the mysteries of the multiverse itself. Another compelling idea is cyclic cosmology, the theory that life, death, and rebirth occur endlessly in the universe. According to this model, the Big Bang was not a one-time event. 
Instead, it was part of a recurring cycle in which universes expand, collapse, and regenerate. In this view, the remnants of a previous universe could have been used to create our own. A cyclical pattern of contraction and expansion would imply there was never a true beginning, only an endless series of universes arising, expanding, and renewing themselves. This model also redefines time. If cyclic cosmology is true, time itself may be cyclical, not linear. The universe before the Big Bang may have been simply a different version of the one that collapsed to form our own. This theory, which implies there is no true origin, provides a powerful response to the question of ultimate beginnings, that in one form or another, the universe has always existed. Another fascinating possibility involves early-stage gravitational waves, which might hold clues to what existed before the Big Bang. These space-time ripples caused by massive cosmic events could, if ever detected, carry evidence of the universe's previous states. The discovery of such waves would be monumental, potentially offering the first glimpse into a primordial universe. At the heart of our continued exploration is a simple truth. The deeper we look, the more our assumptions about space, time, and reality are shattered. One of the most mind-bending ideas comes from quantum gravity, a field that seeks to unify general relativity and quantum mechanics. It's possible that these shifting quantum fields are the only ones that led to the smooth continuum of space and time. As a result, a completely different conception of reality, one in which space and time were not fully formed, could be used to describe the time before the Big Bang. There is also the possibility that the universe is just one part of a vast landscape of possible universes, each of which has its own set of physical laws and constants. String theory, which holds that all fundamental particles are, in fact, minuscule vibrating strings, is the foundation for the theory known as the string landscape. Each of these strings' possible configurations in this framework corresponds to a distinct set of physical laws. The string landscape may suggest that our universe is just one of many, each one emerging from its own unique event, similar to the Big Bang. The fact that such a landscape exists also raises the possibility that other universes may have distinct dimensions, gravity strengths, or even types of matter. According to this perspective, our universe may not be unique at all. Rather, it may be a component of a multiverse, a collection of universes, each of which is evolving independently. The multiverse theory offers a speculative but fascinating answer to the question of what happened before the Big Bang. Another universe with a different configuration that could have led to innumerable cycles of creation and destruction without a clear beginning. Some theoretical physicists have considered the role of black holes in shaping the universe's nature in addition to these cosmological models. The possibility that our universe was formed by a black hole in another universe is becoming a popular hypothesis. Assuming that the Big Bang was the event that gave rise to our universe, the singularity in the center of a black hole could be a portal to another universe. The fact that, according to general relativity, the singularity at the center of a black hole is a point where the known laws of physics break down and space and time curve infinitely lends credence to this hypothesis. It's possible that the extreme conditions inside black holes could result in the birth of new universes, suggesting that the so-called Big Bang was merely the singularity of an ancient black hole that produced our universe. To fully comprehend, these ideas, one must understand the very nature of time itself. According to some cosmologists, time may not have had any meaning prior to the Big Bang. If the Big Bang was the beginning of time, then there may not have been a previous time in any traditional sense. This viewpoint proposes that time may have originated from a quantum fluctuation or from a primordial state devoid of the usual distinctions between the past, present, and future. We might have to reevaluate the idea of causality, which assumes that things happen in a straight line, 
The question of what happened before the Big Bang would be meaningless without a temporal framework to support it if time did not exist as we know it. Theories of cyclic time add complexity to the picture. According to cyclic cosmology, the universe goes through innumerable cycles of birth, evolution, and eventual collapse. According to this model, the Big Bang may only be the most recent cycle in an endless series of universe cycles. These cycles might not be the same, but they might change in different ways and have different physical properties. According to this theory, the universe's cycle is a never-ending process with no real beginning or end, rendering the conventional question of when the Big Bang occurred meaningless. If time itself is cyclical, then every Big Bang could be followed by a contraction and another Big Bang, and the universe could start over again in an endless loop. The possibility of a primordial soup of particles and fields that existed prior to the formation of stars and galaxies is an additional field of inquiry into the nature of the cosmos. This idea suggests that elementary particles like quarks, leptons, and bosons, all of which are extremely energetic, filled the universe before it began its rapid expansion. As the universe cooled, these particles would have interacted at extremely high temperatures and densities laying the groundwork for the formation of matter and energy. According to some versions of this theory, this primordial soup existed in a quantum foam where the uncertainty principle of quantum mechanics caused particles to constantly appear and disappear. This soup's properties may be able to shed light on the very beginnings of the universe and, by extension, the Big Bang itself. In the end, one of science's greatest mysteries is what existed before the Big Bang. New theories for the origins of Our universe will continue to emerge as our knowledge of quantum mechanics, cosmology, and fundamental physics grows. These theories offer explanations for the universe's origins that are becoming increasingly complex and sometimes paradoxical. The pursuit of this knowledge will continue to push the boundaries of human curiosity and inspire us to explore the unexplored frontiers of existence, even if we never fully comprehend what happened before the Big Bang.